Hi guys, so I figured I would take you through my week this week. Hold on, because I'm thirsty. Okay, I figured I'd take you through my week this week since this week is kind of crazy, kind of not. Today is Monday and it's very filled. A couple things I have to work on. One of them is a project. I have to redo this because I don't like it. I have a paper due on Thursday. I have math homework due tomorrow. I have a case study I need to go over for my teaching class. And then I have to read a couple of things and then I have to do my practice cons. It's kind of gonna be a lot and since I don't have my medicine and I ran out of it, I'm waiting for it to be shipped in right now <laughs> from my parents, but um, we'll see because I'm fidgeting a lot and I can't keep my head concentrated at the moment, which is really bad. We should be able to knock everything out. I'm gonna go to a place on campus to go get some breakfast. It's <laughs> not breakfast, it's lunchtime right now, but I'm considering it breakfast since I woke up like an hour ago because I was tired this morning. Um, change of plans. <laughs> Uh, I just got a notification saying that my package was delivered from my mom, so we're gonna go pick that up um, and then take it to the library. I think that should be fine. I'm gonna go get that first before I get food, so that way I can take my Adderall and then eat. So we'll be set. And guys, my debit card is in there. <laughs> I've gone a month with all my debit cards and just sending money to Gabby like randomly. I'm wearing it with my Nikes and rainbow socks because why not? I went all the way to Fisher Student Union to <laughs> that box right there um excuse that mess i was watching euphoria last night but i went all the way to fisher street at union last night and i mean earlier not last night um earlier and some stuff happened and i don't feel the best at the moment so i'm going to work here for a little bit until i um feel better we're gonna just we're gonna work on this as best as we can you guys can't even see my drawer but it looks like this hold on that is what it looks like at the moment i put my stuff in here and then my things right there but yeah um yeah we're just gonna work now i'm just gonna put you guys down and it's gonna be like a little time lapse i guess of me doing schoolwork for a little Yikes, guys. I've been at my desk for probably like, yeah, it's been four hours, four and a half hours working on stuff. I went through my chapter I was supposed to read and annotated, obviously you guys can see, annotated, highlighted anything I thought was special about the mindsets that I was reading about and examples and wrote down my opinions if you guys can see I finished that took my test i planned out my classroom design and how i'm going to showcase this part what i'm gonna do is go to michael's again and get a foam board and i'm going to use the base floor as like the foam so it gives it like an aspect of 3d and then i'm gonna try to like find or like make I guess a floor like wooden floor I guess and like put that on top with like my sticker paper and then I'm going to make rugs out of like yarn and put that down and like glue that onto the foam board on top of the stuff and then I'm going to cut out foam pieces to make the desks and I'm gonna see if I can find like small flat like balls so that I can put the the chairs on there. You guys can see. Um, it's not a very good accurate representation. One of my other classes required us to make a classroom design for a class we wanted. 
oops and so for my class that i actually have to do, like present tomorrow um i went ahead and just i'm gonna use this because rinse and repeat none of my teachers care as long as it's the same thing and it's pretty accurate but for this one it was a discussion but for the next class i actually have to like describe what everything is and so like the little circles are for flexible seating which means that instead of traditional seating inside my classroom i'm gonna have flexible seating so then that means yoga balls are a big thing and that's what the circles are and i want something to show like that they're yoga balls so I was gonna see if maybe like big pearls or like flatback pearls would work or maybe like marbles or something like that from Michaels would work. And then another thing that I have for flexible seating is low tables on the rugs so that the kids with um, eye disabilities or like, you know, glasses or whatever, um, can see the smart board a little more since it's right here and it goes like around the classroom. I have three right here. So in total, there's more than 20 seats, which is a requirement for classrooms. There has to be 20. In total, I believe I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 26. I have 26 seats. So close to 30, which is fine. I think that's a good number. I'm going to use foam pieces for the base, foam pieces for the desks, and then um, yarn to make like the little rug. And then I'm debating right now if I wanna take the extra step and just make everything like an added like 3D layer. Since I'm making the seats and the desks already in foam pieces, should I go ahead, like, go ahead and cut out like all the things around it as well? But I don't know yet exactly how I want to do that or if I should instead of using the foam pieces on those should I use like felt pieces and put those down on there I'm struggling a little with what exactly like I want to do as far as that is mm, I'm not too sure I'm still trying to figure it out um I have my math I have to do in a little but this is going to be the last thing I do and I'm going to like record that <laughs> off topic for you guys so that way like we can go through it together but but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because progress has been made and also I broke my glasses. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, this is gonna be a long vlog now because I'm gonna work on this project with you guys. Hopefully I'll be able to finish all of it. My silhouette comes in tonight from my girlfriend and I'm gonna use it to the best abilities that I can to help pre-cut out any shapes or anything that I need. I need to make a list of what I need to get at the store now. I don't have anything now. I'm probably, I'm gonna write it on a note card actually. That's a lot of work. I need foam board, yarn, fake vinyl that looks like wood, exacto knife, felt, some sort of glue, whether that be a glue gun or E5000, flat back circles. I think that sounds like a good project, but like not like too over the top, you know what I mean? I'm not building legit 3D project like I have to for my other class. It's like decent enough to where like I put in effort, obviously. I think that'll work. So I'll update you guys later once I finish up um, more of my stuff and then I will let you guys know how the process of me doing that, I guess. I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna get to cracking on the rest of these. Okay guys, I just finished math. It took me longer than what I will admit, which just tells me that I need to actually finish taking my notes like I said I needed to. I didn't, yeah, I don't think I showed them last time, but in my last study vlog, I was taking notes and doing stuff and half of the notes that I was taking was for math class and they look like this. They're not colored or anything, but they're very, um, they're very specific because I struggle at math a lot and because I need to, I'm gonna be a teacher, I need to know how to teach math, but if I don't understand math, then that's a problem. So I think that it's actually really good that I'm taking this class because now I can understand it from a, another kind of viewpoint and it makes sense. <laughs> um, it still doesn't make like 100% sense, like, sense to me but it makes sense but it takes me a little bit longer because of how it's worded and how she has us using it it's just not it yeah so um moving on to the rest of my stuff it's 10 40 it's gonna be a very long night just roll with it i needed that i need that to cut bye
I'm mad. Um, let me call my girlfriend really quick. I ran out my slippers because I was so stressed, but don't worry. I did pick them up. <laughs> they just fell out the bag when I got the poster board from the back. So, yes. Okay, we have the razors and I have a little scoring tool. <sighs> I was about to be so stressed, guys. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we can start when we come back in. It's probably going to be a time lapse. Uh, like some of it. And then um, other parts are probably just going to be like real time for a second but i don't want this to be very long <laughs> um but hopefully it comes out nice for this one because the other classroom model i did it was not good no i didn't really like it it was very boring so i want to make this one nice but yeah it's freezing outside so i'm gonna go pieces uh, that I have from earlier. I went ahead and made the little mini rugs. This is what the small one looks like right there in the corner. It wasn't originally going to be um, a heart. I wasn't going to make it a square or a circle. Um, I just drew a heart just because the picture looked pretty with a heart. But this is what it looks like. And then I went ahead and did the little tables for right there on that. So that is a large area rug and the tables. And then these are like the seats, quote unquote. Um, that like they can choose from in like a pile um, but I basically put pearls on them it's not the best <laughs> honestly but it'll work for right there um, so that's all I have <laughs> at the moment um, I'm still working on trying to figure out the rest but um, I think I have to put the walls up on this side I'm gonna do half walls and I think that will be the best option I'm trying to decide if I want two walls and then just leave it there um, but I don't know because I want this section to be shown because um, I feel like that is like that's important but I don't want it to be like just from one side where you can kind of see it, you know? I want it to be like, you can like look inside. So I may switch around how I have that laid out. I may put the storage computers and the bulletin board over here um, because I already have a bulletin board right there. So it just makes sense for that to go there and then the bookshelf to go there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm not, a hundred percent sure we're just gonna see right now but yeah this is what i have at the moment um yeah so i gotta get to kraken uh also a time update uh i'm actually not sure hold on let me just click that okay can you see that 138 it's 138 in the morning um i think it'll turn out good <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll turn out good, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the legs on all of the tables and then kind of like knock it out of the way so that way everything is final and like done placement wise. Okay guys, you can see me in the mirror, haha. <laughs> um, here is what it looks like at the moment. It's turning out really, really cute. Um, once I finalize everything and make sure that I like the way that it looks, um, I'm going to start doing the sidewalls and I've only decided to do two sidewalls and then um, I'm going to try to 
I don't know if I should or not, but like do kind of like what I did over there and just like kind of like put them on the sides. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna do like two half walls and um, we're kind of just gonna go from there. But from top up, this is what it looks like at the moment. I think it looks really nice, really cool. But um, I'm just a little worried that I think there's not enough. I mean, I'm probably gonna switch it out really like in a second. I think that there should be yoga ball over here. Um, so that way there's three and three. Oh, there is three and three. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, just ignore what I said. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I like this layout a lot. I think it looks nice. Um, I put the teacher's desk back there still, um, but yeah, everything looks pretty, pretty decent so far, so chilling with it. I'm chilling with it, honestly. <laughs> I just dropped stuff. Um, okay guys, so I'm going to finalize the layout of, um, everything. So now I'm just going to be taking and dropping all of the um, desks I'm going to place them straight down how I have them placed because I really like the placement of them um, and I think that it'll work out like really nice but I'm going to glue together the um, blocks first and make sure I have them all even because if they're not even that's really gonna bug me but yeah um, make sure that they're all even and nice to go oh no um but yeah i just came to update you guys and let you know um i'm gonna time lapse the rest um i'm actually getting a little tired uh but i am nowhere near done so <laughs> yay uh e for me but yeah, so um, I'm just going to finish working on the project and I think now I'm going to show you guys the final product instead of taking you like completely 100% through. <laughs> um, I will talk to you guys when I have it done because now I'm going to concentrate and um, try to get this done as neatly and swiftly as I can. I have to do the walls and with the walls I'm gonna have to use my silhouette machine to cut out the extra add-ons that I need um, to put onto the wall like the um, what do I have what do I have on there oh like the windows and let's see windows I think that's what I need it for. Yeah, just the windows, I guess. Um, Cause I just suck at making things like even unless it's on an iPad. So well, we're gonna go that route and um, hopefully it turns out good cause I'm not up for it, but I'm gonna use my sticky paper, my sticker paper. Um, so that way everything is nice and even, come on. Everything is nice and even and good to go. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna probably add like an extra detail to the desks. I'm not sure what yet, but they're missing something like on top of them. So I'm not sure yet, but um, when I find out, I will let you guys know, but I'm going to finish it and I'll let you guys know what it looks like later. So, yeah. Oh my god, guys, look at the mess. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I am finally done. I'm trying to clean up so that way when I come home, it'll be a little bit clean. But, are you ready? Here it is. It's so cute. Everything turned out so nice. So I'll talk to you guys, like, about it. Um, obviously, there's stuff missing from, like, the... Um, actual like drawing that I made and um, that's okay because I'm just gonna show both um, but this is what one wall looks like so that's my environmental board down there with a wave and like yeah it says catch of the day it's an ocean fact and then 
there's my library. I could have done better, but <laughs> um, it's okay. And then there's this gap here because I did not think about that. Um, I just made these two pieces like separately and I had no intentions of putting <laughs> another wall there. I just wanted the two walls, but yeah. I have my poster board in the back. Then I have this side. That's like the whiteboard and then the posters in the back and then like the teacher desk here standing desk um regular desk the yoga balls standard standard regular 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 yeah you guys can kind of like get the vibes i guess um because they're taller and everything but yeah and then i made the couch in the back you know yeah with some fake pillows <laughs> um yeah um i like it a lot don't know what this is doing back there I like it a lot. I think it turned out really, really nice. I added felt to the backing so that it looked a little more clean and put together. Um, and then I added a purple like uh, ribbon around it so that it looked <laughs> ribbon string yarn. There we go, yarn around so that it looked nice all around. So yeah, this is the finished product. I am super happy with it. I'm actually really, really, really happy with it, and I hope you guys enjoyed and liked it, and I'm going to get ready for class because I have to go to class in like an hour, so I gotta leave in like 30 minutes so that I can drive, like walk 15 minutes and then get myself lunch, um, breakfast, so yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to watch or do any more projects with me, let me know if you like these type of videos. Um, it's my first time doing one like this, so yeah, um, I hope you guys like it, because I'm actually really, like, I'm really obsessed with it. I could have done more details, honestly, but it's okay for, like, my first time making something like this, because I've never made a 3D project before, so yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye guys.